Craig Froman. I'm an editor here at Master Books. I'm going to be talking today about the archaeology book by David Down. Uh, David's been doing archaeology for many, many years. I know on one of his anniversaries, actually, he and his wife went on an archaeological dig, so he really loves what he does. And uh, hopefully his wife loves it too. So, one of the interesting things about secular archaeology is they seem to really want to attack the authority of, of Scripture. Anything that's only found in the Bible, they seem to think is suspect, that it may not even exist. So when I was younger and I used to get a, an archaeology magazine that talked about the Holy Land, they were talking about an article in there of whether or not David even existed, King David because they didn't have any outside references to him in any other cultures. So that's when I, of course, canceled my subscription to that magazine. David Down affirms time and again through archaeological finds that scripture is not only reliable, but if it's the only place you find reference to something, you can still know that it's going to be found eventually. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. Some things ten ways basically that archaeology confirms scripture. Uh, one of the things that he talked about in here was uh, Jericho, the city of Jericho, and Joshua's uh, basically moving in with, with the Israelites into Canaan. And there were some secular archaeologists that said that that didn't happen, that at that particular time the, there were no nomad peoples roaming around. But later on, as they've done continual digging and such, this is one of the things that they confirmed. An absolute break. A new people, every town in Palestine, newcomers were nomads, completely drove out or absorbed the old population. And David Down says, could we expect to find a more apt description of the Israelite invasion, nomads from the desert, who initially were not uh, interested in living in the cities? So there was one particular find where people were trying to say that just didn't happen. Uh, but as they continued to do the searches, they realized, no, it happened, and it happened exactly the way Scripture said. The, uh, another one there is basically Israel's presence in Egypt. There were some that said there was no sign that there was basically... Uh, captive Israelites living in Egypt in such large numbers. Um, but one of the things they found when they discovered this one pyramid of Amenhotep III, they were mud bricks mixed with straw, which is exactly what Exodus said they developed their bricks out of. And though they'll say, some of these secular archaeologists will say that you know there really wasn't this, this type of... Uh, people living there at the time, others have realized that it's because of a chronological error in calculating the dates, and David Down kind of helps to clarify a lot of that in his book, that the chronology, when you have the chronology accurate, then you find that the biblical pieces all fall into place. Um, another one that was there I want to talk about briefly is during Xerxes' feast, they had like a 180-day feast, which uh, sounds like uh, something <laughs> something quite enjoyable there for a while. It might get old, I would think. At the end of the 180-day feast, they had another seven-day feast, and this was at the time of Queen Esther. And the Bible says this. It's just kind of a passing reference. They gave them drinks and vessels of gold, vessels being diverse one from another. That's from Esther chapter 1, verse 7. And while they were doing digs in that region, they found these goblets, basically, that were, they call ritons. They found out they were all unique. Every one was crafted exactly um, in an order that was distinct from the others. And that particular, just real simple reference in the Bible was found to be true as they found these goblets. Um, there's several whole civilizations. It's interesting that David Down talks about um, the Hittite civilization that way back in like 1860 they only had eight lines of it in an encyclopedia because the only place it was ever referenced was in the Bible even though 
it was supposedly this huge civilization. So this one person that uncovered the civilization and said, I think this is the Hittite culture, the archaeologists and scientists at the time just absolutely mocked them, made fun of them, until they continued to do digging and, and realized that no, this was a Hittite civilization. And of course, the next time that encyclopedia came out, David Down mentions there were like two or three pages, full pages of these new insights, and eventually they released an entire book on the discovery of the Hittite civilization.